the the art show is called the DNA of Dreams and uh, Dream of DNA. Uh, why did I come out with 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 that name? Um, well, first of all, because uh, this photograph here, I was commissioned by by Renaissance um, to do this letter art, and this was actually for part of the DNY, uh, a very big uh, boutique hotel uh, trade show in Jacob Javits. Within that three days, I was just busy painting the heck out of this, this mural. Uh, meanwhile, I did have a little booth to show my artwork, but everyone was, was like, so I'm actually doing the painting all that, of the work. And so the, the content of the letter R has, has uh, the, the, the DNA uh, strands. It's basically, as you can see right here, the DNA is like a wave pattern. Uh, because DNA and Renaissance has, um, you know, being rebirth, and you know, there that's the the, the science and and um, the the science and the esoteric uh, part of my my art show. Uh, but also, uh, mo most important of all, this is a retrospective of my my work from from the past ten years. Uh, and you know, the, the ten years of, of work that I worked on, that, uh, mainly um, this this wall kind of says it all. Uh, I'm a consultant for a company called Dash, uh, and I'm very grateful that I've been since I'm a freelancer. I've, I've been this long, <laughs> you know, for a company. If I was full time, I don't know how long I could you know, last in a company. But they really utilize my talent on uh, doing renderings. So. So the, these renderings uh, became, and you know, some of my coworkers would also know where some of these renderings come from. So these renderings, I made it into like a fantasy scenarios, and and this is when I realized that that um, the, these interiors can also become very biomorphic, um, you know, uh, biomechanical, um, almost like um, a bit very, you know, like I said, fantasy like. Um, you know, so within within the ten years, a uh, lot of the, these work, I, I would work on it a little bit, put it down, and then come back and rework it again. So this is like actually a work in progress. To jump to fast forward uh, ten ten years, of uh, present time are are these sketches right here. Um, and these sketches are very important because they, they support my first commission mural work. Now, I've been doing murals for uh, 10 years, starting um, being involved with Burning Man. And, and, and to me, this is such a uh, great exposure that, that Renaissance Hotel Marriott has recognized my talent uh, as a muralist. Uh, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm grateful being a renderer, and, uh, but, but I want, I'm literally taking rendering to another level, is, is what you see here. So the, these drawings, I, I love doing the, these drawings here because I live in Staten Island, that's why I tell people, I have a long commute, so I spend the time doing the drawings. So therefore, I'm, I'm like a street artist, right? Uh, the, the main part of, of the, these drawings that, that support the, the Renaissance art is, is called, I call it the wave function, because everything has a wave pattern from, from meditation uh, to uh, what they call the delta wave. So wave, wave, the wave function is very important when you're sleeping, because when you're sleeping in, in a hostile bed, and I'm not, <laughs> I know, exactly, right? I'm not, I'm not sounding like a salesperson, but, but uh, even though I do see myself as, uh, you know, Don Draper, if any of you guys like this show, man, I love that show. <laughs> um, but I'm passionate about art, so so to me, it's amalgamation of, okay, so what is wave, right? So wave, wave is, is, is when you're sleeping, it's called the delta wave. Uh, when you're on the, what I call the, the um, well, I was going to say wake and bake, but that's when you smoke weed. Because I think, <laughs> so, um, yes, uh, true, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, there's a thing called uh, if the, um, the uh, indo uh, indocannabinoid receptor, which is the nerve that actually uh, uh, receive uh, you know, THC, because I actually marijuana uh, and sleeping, well, when you wake up, you drink coffee and you're wake and bake and... And you know, again, I, I did about uh, uh, thirty different video blogs of me running um, while high, but then watching the wave because I live near I live near Staten Island. That's how far away I live, and so so the wave function has become my, my passion. So so the wave also, if you can see, and there's so much going on here, I can. I could spend the whole, whole entire night explaining to you the details, but you see horses running, you know, horses running in the way because why the horses? Look at behind you. Uh, that horse is, is, um, is, was a surprise. Uh, that horse was, was actually uh, inspired by Renaissance art because uh, Renaissance gave me a letter R to paint. So, so then the horse rep represents um, the, the company. Why is the horse um, part of the, the bed? Because in all in, in these layers, one of the layers have the, the hair, um, the, the mane of the horse. 
when you cut it really short, it looks like very curly, you know, it's like, ooh, <laughs> you know, but, but it's, it's organic, right? So, you, you know, so, so it's, it's, it's organic. So the way you sleep, your delta weight, and also when you're sleeping, um, it, it, it's, um, when you're sleeping, um, your body repairs the damaged cells, and also your brain uh, deletes all the crap that's in your head. You know, this is actually I'm pulling this from from a short clip uh, that Hassan has. It's called the Architecture of, of Sleep. So I incorporate, I piggyback that concept into my artwork. Okay, and and so so that's why you have these horses here, and then the, these lines that you see right here, the, these sort of um, crisscross checkerboard patterns. If you look at a diamond, or and this is from my friend, um, I don't know, it's Lua here, because she just got her GIA degree, that, that diamond um, and gemstones also relates to, um, to the DNA is because, uh, because, uh, every, because the, the, the molecules all align, like, like a very straight uh, lin linear line. So the line itself, the rib pattern, is, is, is actually, um, uh, what do you call it, like um, the, the, the base for, for all your... <laughs> Uh, for all your wave functions, if you will. So the way that you see right here um, throughout my, my drawings, um, you know, is 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 the uh, the the wave also relates to the uh, the double helix of, of a DNA, and and again going back to sleeping, it's it's the uh, it's it's the, the sleeping in in the bed, um, the health, the, how what you put in your body, the healthiness, your next generation that's going to affect. Your, your DNA or, or, or so-called the transmutation, transmutations of, of um, you know, uh, from, from sleeping to eating to dieting and, and that's, your next generation is going to be even healthier. So, so that, that's the, um, the, the essence of, of uh, the, the, the wave function patterns and, and uh, how, how I relate to, you know, um, I, I guess here to, to the present time of having, you know, uh, taking you guys to, to the art shows here. So basically, um, so in, in a nutshell, uh, the 10-year the retrospective is, is uh, 10 years of working at Dash projects, and we work on various hotel projects. Uh, for instance, um, I think the uh, upper left-hand corner, uh, I think that's um, Re Renaissance, I think you guys. This is a project I worked with Ceci, and I was very proud of that project. We worked hours and hours, and, and nothing happened. But it's, it's called Nest. It's called uh, Nest, like Bird's Nest. And that's why it looks like very, uh, what's the word, uh, biomorphic, you know. And, and this is probably the most, um, you know, fantasy-like projects that I did at Dash. Uh, the other ones right here I thought was very interesting, too, is uh, we had some Godiva project. And Godiva, to me, you know, how do you take chocolate and make it into fantasy, you know, and, and all that. Um, and and uh, well, I just want to show you this one right here. Uh, I, I guess uh, uh, Molly's not here. That's that's her hand. I also do body paintings too, uh, hand on. So aside being an artist and a designer, I, I do body painting. You know. Uh, so in conjunctions with, with with the work I did in Dash, right behind you is uh, my friend's uh, my my friend Leon who who commissioned me um, ten years ago his book on science fiction. It's called Fly Star. And this is where the, the whole biomorphic and science fiction mixed with architecture all amalgamated together. You know, this is where Jim Sue, the artist, can actually fantasize, not like the way he did when he was 16 years old, where, you know, when he was so young, but I think, you know, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and and um, yeah, so that right there, and, and also retrospective, these are. Uh, some of the work that I do, call it surrealism if you like. Um, some of the, these, uh, the biomorphic also was inspired. Um, I mean, uh, uh, one of my experiences, I love Antonio Gaudi. I went to Barcelona when I saw Sagrada Familia. It, it turned, it actually changed my life. You can't look at a, a history book or a book and say, oh yeah, you know, this is this is where it is. You got to experience it. You know, it's like going to a restaurant. You got to eat the food and, and realize. All the taste and all that. So, so that that's what I'm trying to, to convey, you know. Um, and so, 
overall, what it is is, is that I combine my, my architectural um, uh, uh, background with, with my artistic uh, background. You know, always always wanted to, to be uh, a designer, but but yeah, very uh, you know my I'm always being very artistic with, with my passion and all that. Um, so and anyway, and everything leads to tonight, and this is uh, ten years of my work here. Thank you. Oh my God, I think I must have.